Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Just going to get my internet up and happening and my screen working. Just bear with me a minute, girls. <sighs> Got my mouse working today, which was a nice touch. Who knew that you had to turn the Bluetooth on, hey? Oh, and mute myself. All right. Okay, how are we all? Hello, Naomi. Welcome to day two of the Great International Online Craft Show. Also of our mega big brand Black Friday sale that we're having, uh, which is conveniently going all weekend. And welcome to those of you who are new. My name is Natalie May, and today I am going to give you oh, some tips and trips, tips and trips, tips and tricks, and uh, hopefully make something pretty at the same time. And we have got, as part of this fantastic online event, we've got some really cool specials today on nataliemay.com.au. We have got 20% off of Tim Holtz products. So that includes everything that I'm about to show you. It also includes 20% off the Scrap Effects products and Stamperia products. So we've got stamps, stencils, papers, paint, embellishments. We have got ink pads. We have got a huge range of products and can't wait to show you all of these awesome things today. Um, now, the other really cool thing is, is this is day two of 25% off of Natalie May products. So like I said before, this is the best opportunity that you will get to get hold of some stencils and some stamps by Natalie May, maybe a stubby holder, maybe an apron, maybe a coffee cup, maybe a pen. A little bit of me, 25% off, love that. Let's crack into it. I today thought that it's been a very, very long time since I have played with Distress Paint. And I used to, in a, in a previous life, <laughs> in a previous life, I uh, some of you may remember, I used to go to the Big Scrapbook Expo at the Brisbane Convention Centre and used to demonstrate these and just Tim Holtz Distress inks for hours and hours and hours on end. So I'm going to test myself today and see how, see what I can remember about using these guys. So it's it's all in here for. Um, for having a bit of a play. A um, couple of important things. I am working on my craft mat today. I, For this particular project, I would normally work on my glass mat, but we do actually get a little bit too much reflection. So I'm going to not do that, um, just for your own personal sanity, but I am just gonna tape this down to my mat because I tend to get a little bit rough and ready. Rough and ready. So let's stick that onto there. Good morning, Pina. Morning, Tina. The lovely Karen Campbell is here. I see that all of the all of the team are here today. Um, and I've just lost the end of my tape, which I hate. Um, and that's really now bugging me. Come on. And I'm just too lazy to get up and get another one, but you know, let's commit to it. So I hope your Friday morning's going well. I know that we have got, um, I've got a huge day planned for you guys today. Lots of amazing things happening. Um, now, if you are in Adelaide and you think, and you know, you would like to pop in for a shop, um, please do so next Wednesday because our, in our store here in Adelaide, is closed from today through to next Wednesday while we get your orders packed and ready. So if you could just be a little bit patient with that, that would be wonderful. All right, so 
let's have a bit of a play with these paints. I'm going to be working today on the large Tim Holtz tags again. Sorry, the large Dina Wakeley tags again. Um, these are fantastic. And I'm going to make a couple of really large tags. So what is really awesome about these distress paints, other than the fact they're just so easy to use, is they layer up really, really well. They are a... Let me read the bottle. It says... Use on paper, fabric, wood, metal, glass, plastic, and more. Shake well before using, um, et cetera, et cetera. Coordinates with the rest of the palette. So what happens with these is the, they make a really, really great background. So I'm going to do a bit of a, a little bit of a, a bit of a mess going on here. I'm going to do some color straight onto my palette like so. So I'm using colours that are all alongside each other on the colour wheel. And actually, I'm going to do one colour at a time. Oh no, I've committed to two. Um, my water spray bottle, I'm now going to wet them. I'm going to give them a smoosh around with my finger and wet them. And we are going to do a little bit of dabbing. A bit of layering of colour. So I'm going to make some ooh, very nice taggy backgrounds using that. Check it out. Check it out. So I can't waste all of that. So I do have some other tags here. And what happens with these is when they dry, you can layer them up really, really nicely. So layering them up between colours is going to work a treat. So I'm just going to do those two and then I'm going to add a orange over the top and a purple over the top of that. I'll do these two tags and then I'll do a couple more in other colours. Now you can do the normal things with these paints. There is... Um, yeah, Linda's asking the question. The difference between these paints and Dina Wakeley paints, these are a... These tend to work a little bit better with this technique. They're a little bit more fluid than the heavy body paints of Dina Wakeley and Dilutions, for example, but they will work beautifully for this and they layer up just so well and coordinate with the rest of the Tim Holtz colour palette, which is really, really important. So I'm going to pop those aside just to continue to dry and then I'm going to work on I might do another palette here I have got twisted citron I'm going to give it a really good shake first of all and I'm going to do that and get that on there like so and then smush it in. So just a little bit of water to act water to activate it. Um, and this time I'm going to hit it with the heat tool. But yeah, these do have a really chalky finish as well. So something that like a normal acrylic paint would actually go probably have a little bit more plastic content in it, perhaps. Uh, and it will and it will have a, a really different sort of finish to it, more of a glossy sort of finish. Whereas this dries beautiful and uh, matte, sorry, is what I'm trying to say. And I'm just dabbing and touching. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's very cool. Wipe it off. Dry it off. Oh, my Link Ninjas are here today. Naomi is linking in the products that we're using just to make life a little easier for you. Oh, how pretty are they? Look at that. So now I'm just going to pop that one aside. And I'm going to come back here and I'm going to add some orange. 
So again, this is carved pumpkin. So as you know, carved pumpkin is part of a Tim Holtz color range. So you can get it in all of the other, like his ink pads and his sprays, um, oxides, absolutely everything. So now I'm just going to see, see this gorgeous beading that's happening. I'm gonna see if I can utilize that by grabbing it and, and sitting it on top just dabbing it in and I add a little at the bottom here and knowing when to stop is important and I should have stopped a little earlier drop that on I really like that the orange is beautiful and then I'm going to grab another tag and start smooshing a little bit more water, activate just a little bit more. So these products that I'm showing you today are all 20% off for today only. All right, I'm gonna hit that with the heat gun quickly. But these tags are great. So I'm using the little tags here, which are the Natalie May scrapbooking ones, and you will find those at 25% off this set here of 20. And this is a Dina Wakeley set, um, really, really great. So this technique that I'm doing, you can do this on a scrapbook page. You can make this as a card front to, um, for making cards. In your art journal, you can certainly do this as well. Although if I was working in an art journal, I would be putting it onto a piece of acetate and then flipping it over onto the top. Um, that will work the best. So this one I'm just going to sit and air dry. It's still got a few little wet dabs body marks on it, but I'm going to add some more colours over the top of the blue one. Uh, what have I got here? I have got prize ribbon. Let's add some prize ribbon over the top. Oh, that's a beautiful blue. I love the way that that just kind of dissolves out and puddles out. And now I'm going to add some highlight spots. Beautiful. I can also add some water to this to tone it and spread that color out. So I've got this beautiful layered effect going on here now. Uh, let's grab another big tag and sop up some of that. I could do this for hours and hours and hours on end. This is such a fun and easy thing to do. Now, dabbing gives a much better effect than a swipe. So if you are swiping, um, what I do find is that I get some really, um, I get some interesting marks, which is great, but I do particularly love these little dots that we get that are just, that look effortless, like these little splodges. So just a little note, a couple of people have asked me why the discount price is not showing on the website. Your discount will automatically be, um, be deducted at the, air, at the airport at the airport, at the checkout. So the prices at the checkout will um, reflect the discount, which is great. I have got here speckled egg. So I'm gonna add something light over these dark ones. And this is a blue gray that is really pretty. go now we're getting somewhere stunning absolutely super nice grab this other tag sock that up so for those of you just tuning in welcome welcome my name is Natalie 
And as part of the uh, great international craft show, I'm just doing some lovely little demos today, showing you how to use all the cool things, showing you some fun and easy techniques that anybody can do. All right, I'm just gonna let that one air dry. I've just heat set it just a little, but I'm gonna let that one air dry. I'm gonna come back to my pink and orange ones here uh, and add some more color. So what did I use to start with? Did I use warm lipstick? I can't remember. Let's go purple. So because we are using a, a distress paint that is kind of like an acrylic paint, I can add a purple over the top of an orange. So normally orange and purple, when you mix them together, will make brown. So to make sure that that's not going to happen, I am completely and totally drying my tag, making sure all of these little orange bits here are completely dry. And I do that as well. I double check by rolling my paper towel over and making sure that all of that extra ink has been sopped up. And now I'm gonna add some dusty Concord. I know, look at that, Natalie's using purple. Clearly she hasn't had enough coffee this morning. Right. And I'm just going to pop these on the edges. <gasps> oh, that's nice. So Dusty Concord is a beautiful lilac, really beautiful, lovely colour. Um, And now dropping it over the top of that one. Oh, I like it. What else can I add it on? What I like about it is it's quite light. It's really, really pretty. That didn't work like I wanted it to, but that's okay. What have I got here? Some broken china. Let's make put some broken china down and work on a couple more tags. And then I'm going to embellish these for you. Show you some stenciling techniques to put over the top. Show you what we can do with some Tim Holtz dolls. I've got some of those here to play with. I also have some Scrap Effects. What have I got? Scrap Effects stencils and some Scrap Effects stamps to have a play with. So looking forward to having a bit of a play. Um... There we go. I'm just going to add, I'm mixing a colour here. I haven't wet that. So adding water will just spread it out just a little. And that is really nice. So this, oh, this is nice. I've added a really, created a new colour. And I'm just going to let that sit aside and dry and drip everywhere. And then I've got this one here that I was working on before. Really great technique for some backgrounds. A bit more purple. Whee. There we go. Just dip it in there. Flip and dip. That's really pretty. I'm going to let that sit and dry by itself. I like the white splotches coming through as well. The white gives dimension. I talked about this yesterday uh, when we did the class. So white gives dimension, black gives depth. So when we're creating something and you want to do a mixed media project and, you know, you think it looks a bit flat, that's okay. Give it a little bit of a black stamp and, or a white splatter and that will lift it up. Right, so I'm just going to hit this with the heat gun and grab that, make sure that colour's all sitting on there quite nicely. It's puddling on beautifully. This one's come up looking great. I think half of the time it's watching paint dry. That's as exciting as these projects can get. So just a little um, bit, of a, bit of an ad break here. If you're looking at upgrading your heat tool, um, or grabbing a spare one or gifting one for a friend. We currently have heat tools at $14.95. You can also grab $3.95 scissors. Uh, you'll find those in the show specials category. 
They are, it's, let's be honest, we can never have too many pairs of scissors floating around. I tend to have about four on my desk. Um, and let's just ask the question, do I sell the tags? Absolutely. So these are the big Dean Wakely tags. And we also have these little ones here, uh, two different sizes available. The girls will um, pop the link for that in the comments in a moment, Annette. So uh, just give the girls a sec and they will add that in for you. Um, we also have a special on some really lovely paint pens that are that it pack it, that are quite inexpensive, and they are the uh, they're a fine paint acrylic paint pen. Um, make a lovely gift idea again if you have a a Kris Kringle with a twenty dollar value. Paint pens might be your go to. That could work really really well. Uh, and if you have a you know you're looking at grabbing some Christmas presents for the rest of your friends and family, have a look under gift ideas on our website because we have got some really fantastic bags, pouches, pencil cases, little things in there, excellent teacher gifts as well. Um, so if you need to purchase a, a gift for a school teacher, then that might be right up your alley. Now, I've got this little one sitting here, which I don't really love. So I'm just going to take a moment to add a, add a little bit more colour over the top of that. So I figure, hey, what the heck? All or nothing, right? Oh, thanks, Naomi. So Naomi's just commented. If you just scroll up through the comments, you'll find some links to the tags uh, from that we have uh, added in there previously. They are very, very handy to have, especially when you wanna have a, a lovely little loose creative session like I'm kind of doing here. So um, there we go. Oh, that's nice. That's kind of made that a little bit more interesting. And knowing when to stop is important <laughs> as I add more and more color. But you know what? All or nothing, we say. Do I want to add any more to those? No, 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 Natalie. What I want is I want to add this over the top of here, but I was a bit, I need to dry some of this first. And then we're going to get plain. Thanks, Naomi. Beautiful. All right, let's just add a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Oh, very nice. But I'm just kissing it. I'm not rubbing, rubbing it and smushing it all the way through. Oh, that's looking better. I'm just giving it a. Gotta stop that up. I'm just making sure that I just touch the the liquid. Whereas this one, I'm smushing it right in to stop it all up into that tag. And the difference is definitely quite evident. So if I dry this, I can layer colours as well with these Distress Inks. I can stamp over the top with worn lipstick with the Tim Holtz inks. Uh, that works fabulous as well. Let's add some more. Oh, yeah, baby. Louise, would you grab my Distress Oxide in prize ribbon or a navy blue chip sapphire something like that please so you see what happens when we're layering the colors the splotches on top of each other you can get layers of the same color tabo layers of the same color all on top of each other and they layer up a treat so let's have a bit of a look here so we've just used distress paints which is something that we don't use. Something that we don't use very often. Um, but this is something that they, distress paints are just made for this purpose. They are absolutely divine. So we have got this guy here with all of this layered color. See, I saved that. I bought that one back. And I bought that one back from repair. So I love the purple that sits underneath. Something that's a little different. This one's a lot softer. We've got more of a shadowy, um, more pastel effect. 
the very first one I started working on. This has got the layers of colour. We've got Broken China. We've pretty much got all of the cool colours. Um, one, two and three colours there for that one. Okay, we put purple over orange here, which is just unusually a hard no for me. I'll never do that. So let's see now what can we do with these tags. How can we make this work? I'm just going to get my paints out the way. And I'm just going to grab some fresh paper towel because I just want to take the puddles off in case I've got any of the damp spots. So nothing more than just rolling my paper over the top to catch up any catch any drips. I know that one was dry. I'm not sure about that one. And that works for me. So scrap effects. Scrap effects are <coughs> excuse me. Australian company. Scrap effects are an Australian company that are whoops that one's still wet that a, a brand that we absolutely love and we always kind of try and have a good selection of their latest and greatest and their best sellers. So something to suit absolutely everyone. They've got stencils and stamps and collage papers. What, uh, oh, and the, um, the silhouettes. So what I wanna show you first of all is, to give you a bit of an idea, so this is one of the silhouettes. This is the bouquet silhouette. And the bouquet silhouette is exactly that. It is a gorgeous little bouquet. It's super thin, as you can see. But what looks great is that. So you can just pop that straight on top of any background and it's gonna look really awesome. So that over that looks good, looks good, looks good looks fabulous gets a little bit lost on that one because I've got quite a dark background but it's made for this beautiful bright background really really pretty so that is what you do with the silhouettes they are very very detailed very very fine uh, scrap effects also do stencils today I thought I might create a couple of quick tags using the faces stencil set so this is a set of four that are going to create these shapes which all of them look like my hair that one's my hair in the morning that's my hair on a good day that's my fancy hair and that's a bit bad hair you didn't need to know that, but you know. Right, let's take this one. And we'll pop that here. So how do you use it? So I take this and I'm gonna take a little bit of my tape and just tape that down to my stencil. Uh, I am going to go straight in with my Ranger Tim Holtz Black Soot Archival Ink and I'm going to use my blending tool. And I'm going to very, very firmly and confidently, can't stress that enough, just get it in there and get it on. Now, you might notice I'm, I'm kind of giving it a little wriggle wriggle. And that is because it's a detailed stencil. So you don't want to mess it up. So if you just dab straight on the top, not on an angle or anything like that, but just get it on there. I have the ability as well to lift it. Hey, hey. that looks good. Okay, that's the base for my first tag. Um, to clean this off, I would just um, use a baby wipe, or I uh, don't worry about cleaning it, to be honest, because that's how I roll. Let's have a go here. Let's do another. I'm going to pop her down. Now, my tags are a little curly. 
because they have been wet. So I'm being quite firm in holding that down. Uh, someone has just commented, oh, Tina, you're, you're being super helpful there. Yes, I do ship internationally. Um, we, on our website, there is a, um, a shipping and information page. We have a, a flat rate to America and Canada uh, and a couple of other international companies, uh, countries, New Zealand. Um, so have a look at the terms and conditions on our shipping page on our website. The girls will link that in for you. There we go, look at that one, that's cute. So in a minute, I'm gonna tie all of these and finish them up. I'm just gonna do the stenciling bit first, and then I'm gonna grab a pen and show you how to finish them. So I'll do these four, I'll do a couple of these ones, and then I will, let's, I think I like her going that way better. Uh, and then I'm going to do something with the big tags. Keeping the girls on their toes with their linking today. They're linking into the comments. There we go. Look at that. Nice and easy. And then I'll go over with a black pen. So before I move it, I check that I covered all the area and I have. And I'll do that last one. Where's the bed hair girl? Here she is. Like that, let's tape that onto there. I'm gonna sneeze, girls. This wouldn't be a Facebook Live without Natalie sneezing now, would it? Which will then be a very polite Natalie walking out of the room to blow her nose, but I'm gonna see if I can hold that sneeze back and focus on something else and talk myself out of it. Because, you know, that's how I roll. So I do like to do this with the black archival ink because it has that permanency to it. So if I decide that I want to add more to my project, I can. Oh yeah, look at her. She looks great. So that is using the set of four faces. Um, I'll come back to that in a second. How am I going for time? I'm good. I'm nailing it. Let's have a look at these Scrap Effects stamps before I do all the finishing off. So Scrap Effects stamps are foam stamps. Love, love, love them. Now I have a little stash here. Now, now I don't know the availability of any of these stamps. Um, I've just taken them from my personal stash. But what I like to do is they come like this already on a piece of acrylic. I like to make a little handle with a piece of tape. So I go up, fold some back. Sorry, I'm not showing you very well. Fold some back, fold it back and down and cut so that I have a nice little handle that I can grab. And it just makes the stamping experience a little bit easier. And then I just add a bit more tape around there. Totally unnecessary, but... And now I can hold it like that. More like that. So what can I use? Um, foam stamps are great. As you can tell, I haven't um, cleaned this one from last time. That's no great shock to anybody. But what I will do is I'm going to use... Chip Sapphire Distress Oxide. Oh, Distress Oxides stamp beautifully. Now, if this is an inky ink pad, it should work. And I'm only stamping half of it because I know that I just want to do that. And then I run my hand along there and I get a gorgeous print, a gorgeous stamped image. Okay. Oh, look at that. And then I'm just going to stamp it again down here. I haven't even reapplied any ink, but I get a very nice impression. To clean my 
stamp, I will just dab it with some with a baby wipe. Um, very gently run it under some water. They are delicate. They are adhered onto this acrylic piece, so you do need to be gentle with them. They do have a lifespan um, and they can fall apart and that's okay. I may or may not have very well scrubbed my numbers. I'm missing a six, but that's okay. Um, I've got some leaves here. So let me show you how to use the leaves. I will do some leaves on this one. I need to tape up a little handle. You don't have to, but I find it easier to work with a little handle, something to grip onto. Personally, I find much more control that way. So I'm going to start on here with my chipped sapphire. There's a huge range of these stamps. Um, and I really, really love them. And then they're 20% they're off. So 20% off is a bargain. You're going to get some excellent stamps for your collection. Really lovely for creating more organic, more looser prints. Okay, so that one's there. I'm just gonna wipe that off before I forget. And now I'm going to use black over the top of those. Create my little handle. So like I said, I don't know if we have this one in stock at the moment, but there is a huge range of very, very similar. I just didn't want to open another one to, to show you. <laughs> I'm gonna layer the black over the top of that so it's created a really nice little shadow. Oh, I quite like it. Surprise myself every now and again. Uh, what else have I got here? I have got, I've got some gorgeous words. This is one of my favorite ones to use. Uh, I. Again, I will do, I've got very limited supplies here. So um, in front of me, I've only got two colors of ink, but you know what, I'm gonna to commit to it. I'm gonna pop some navy blue over the top of here. And then I'm gonna add some black. Oh, and I hate things that are not straight, so I just missed that myself. But having the ability to use this is, is really, really great. They are all ready to go. You don't need an acrylic block. They're so easy. And at 20% off, they've got an excellent price point as well. Uh, there are a huge, like I said, a huge range of designs, so... Love that. I might use my dirty stamp. I'm not going to re-ink. And add a little stamping down here, a little layered stamping. Add a little layered stamping here. in her shirt. Uh, what other stamps have I got handy? This one. Here's a little handle I prepared earlier. back to the words because I love the words. 
Words are my go-to. Okay, I'm gonna pop some lids on these and then quickly run around with a black pen, the edges of my tags to finish those off and then we'll have a chat through, have a chat about the processes that we used and what you can do with them. So what I like to do, I've got, actually a paint pen would probably be better but I haven't got one right in front of me, but a paint pen would probably be great. I'm just going to take, I'm gonna make it look like I have drawn it, which is essentially, you know, the main reason we stencil, to, to give that effect of, oh, look, she's drawn that. I can make my, my blacks blacker, I can extend to that shoulder, okay? What I am going to do in here is I'm going to take just a moment to have a look at the picture on the front. We're looking at this one here and have a look and say, right, well, how can I, how can I work on this? I'm going to come in like that with my pen. I'm going to take her chin down here, blacken her lip up a bit, her nose line, and I can sharpen features. Uh, I'm going to pop a bit of a border all the way around. So these are images. So if you were to do this in your small art journal, this would be fantastic. They make a great little focal point image in your journal. Um, and, and they're super easy just to finish off as well. So if you're going to do something, you do need to black pen doodle. I like the black pen doodle because I can then build on it, add on it, make it my own. This one here, we're gonna extend her shoulder out and I'm, I'm gonna give her a bit more of a neckline. I can give her, I have the ability to, I don't know, give her an extra chin here so she looks more like me. Carve out that jawline. If, I, if my stamping is a little bit dodgy at the top here, I can go around and make that a lot more beautiful. So you get the picture. But yeah, a paint pen would definitely be much, much easier to use than just the, the ballpoint pen that I've, I've picked up here. Okay. Um, so I hope you are all having a fabulous day wherever you are today and having a wonderful, um, enjoying the sun if you have some. I think we have got a lovely day here in, in Adelaide today at 31 degrees or something. Um, I have to crack the fan on again this afternoon, I think. Oh, look, I really love that. Just sharpening up those lines makes all of the difference. Same as here, extending out that shoulder line. I can round it up a little. Okay, I can extend that out. I could give her a little, a little collar on her shirt and animate it up a bit. Lots of things that you can do. So there we go. I'm not going to bang on about this any longer. I've taken up enough of your morning. Um, Thank you very much for joining. So we have just gone over talking about Tim Holtz Distressed Paints. Distress Paints. And they are all in the similar colours or same colour collection as what he has released his other ink pads in. And it's part of that fantastic storyline. And what we have done here today is we have built these Turn these white tags into something quick and simple and easy. Um, backgrounds that you can do on your scrapbooking pages. Techniques that you can add to your art journals. Techniques that you can add to create card fronts. Lots and lots of very, very easy things that you can add to your everyday creating just using simple, simple techniques that I've shown you here with a water spray and um, and these and these fantastic distressed paints. Uh, the Tim Holtz special for today is twenty percent off Tim Holtz products store wide. 
Um, it does exclude things that are already discounted in the clearance. Okay, so if it's already in the clearance, it's already marked down by at least 30%. So make the most of, of grabbing some of those stocks while they're there. Uh, the, just giving her a little collar here. Um, Scrap FX products for today are also 20% off. So they are collage papers, stamps, junk journals, stencils, silhouettes what have i missed there's some lovely chipboard from scrap effects as well there's a whole range of beautiful things that you can add to your collection now if you have already paid for postage and ordered yesterday you can or add to your order for the very low cost of one dollar fifty and what we're going to do is we're going to pop all those together um let's just have a quick look at some of these here we have got a couple of Blues and purples in the background using exactly the same techniques, stamping over the top with your Tim Holtz, uh, sorry, with your with Tim Holtz Distress Oxide in Chip Sapphire um, and Black Archival Ink. I could add a Tim Holtz paper doll, finish that off nicely. They would also look good on this background here. This one's probably my favorite for someone who doesn't love purple. That's a beautiful color combination. Um, I would foam tape that on there, pop some stamping underneath, a bit of a black border, perhaps um, tear some lace to match in the lace in the image. And we've got something going on there. And then finally, this one here. So we used three colors. We've got a, a lime green. We've got a, a light blue. Actually, we used four colors. I toned it back, didn't I? I toned it back with speckled egg okay and then stamped up on the side here so some wonderful ideas there to set you on your way so jump online to nataliemay.com.au you can get 25 percent off natalie may products you can also get friday special tim holtz stamperia scrap effects and you can also join our Natalie May scrapbooking creative community, which is our private Facebook group where we've got some fantastic giveaways and competitions. Um, and there's still time to enter the competition to win a $25 gift voucher for November. Okay, I hope you are all doing fantastic. I look forward to seeing you back here at 1.30 for another live Facebook today. Haven't quite worked out what I'm going to be doing, but yeah, I might do an art journal page. What do you reckon? And I might use these in my art journal. That's a splendid idea. Okay, guys, I look forward to seeing you then. Bye.